This is just one of several of the amazing finds from an amateur metal detectorist on doctor's orders. I'll explain as we explore. I love stories like this, and Doctor Who shared this with me because he knows that I like to cover stories about a found precious metals treasure. This is the latest in a string of videos that I have in a playlist called Found Precious Metal Treasures. These are feel-good stories about how gold and silver and other precious objects have been found uh, in modern times and date back well into uh, ancient history at times. I'm going to be referencing first an article here from CBS News that talks about this story. A man had bought a metal detector to get off the couch. And he just made the gold find of the century in Norway. At first, a Norwegian man thought his metal detector reacted to chocolate money buried in the soil. It turns out to be nine pendants, three rings, and ten gold pearls in what was described as the country's gold find of the century. The rare find was made this summer by 51-year-old Irland Bore on the southern island of Renesui near the city of Stavanger. Bore, Bore, or Bore had bought his first metal detector earlier this year to have a hobby after his doctor ordered him to get out instead of sitting on the couch. At first, I thought it was chocolate coins or a Captain Sabretooth coin, said Bore, referring to a fictional Norwegian pirate. It was totally unreal. Now, just put yourself in the, his shoes for a moment. You know, you just start doing this essentially to become more healthy. You're out and about, metal detectoring around. You don't expect to find anything. Um, and you get, a, you get a signal, you dig down, you might find a bottle cap or two or maybe maybe a modern coin or something but to f actually see something uh, it just blows your mind like this and so you, your first thought is that it's not anything significant it's got to be maybe an aluminum gold uh you know al aluminum with gold plating on it uh, covering chocolate you know it makes sense that uh, his first thought is that it's not going to be anything significant or substantial but instead, when he sees that it was, uh, you know, not a chocolate coin or this Captain Sabretooth, it's something that's totally unreal. And that's the understatement of the century, apparently. Ole Madsen, director of Archaeological Museum at the University of Stavanger, said that to find so much gold at the same time is extremely unusual. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is the gold find of the century, in Norway at least, Madsen said. Yeah, a lot of gold in one place. You don't see that too often anywhere. And we know that Europe has a lot of history that dates far back, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in this video. So I think for those of you who live in European countries, I know there are several in this community that do metal detect. I know Cyber Curtain Twitcher does in England. It's not uncommon to find some ancient coins, for instance. Maybe bronze, relatively common, but still be able to find that is pretty substantial and significant. Here in the United States, we don't really have that luxury. Uh, we'd be very lucky to find a silver coin dated 1964 or earlier. And if they're older, you know, like a Mercury dime or a Sea to Liberty quarter, well, that is a big reason to celebrate. But the museum has posted a video of the treasure on Facebook and other images on social media. We'll take a look at some of these pictures as we get down through this article here. It will be preserved and displayed as soon as possible in our upcoming um, exhibition. In August, Bore began walking around the mountains island, mountains island with his metal detector. A statement issued by the university said he first found some scrap, but later uncovered something that was completely unreal. The treasure weighing a little more than 100 grams. It's a lot of gold for sure. And here you can see an image of the pieces as they were unearthed. And you can see how gold does not corrode. It does not uh, dissipate in any way, shape, or form. And so it's remarkable to see these pieces here. Though they're dirty, the gold is definitely intact. 
Now, under Norwegian law, objects from before 1537 and coins older than 1650 are considered state property and must be handed in. Associate Professor Hakon Rearsen with the museum said that gold pendants, flat, thin, single-sided gold medals called uh, bracteates, date from around 500 AD and so-called migration period in Norway, which runs between 400 to about 550, where these were widespread migrations in Europe. So that's pretty remarkable how far back it dates in history. And you can see there that uh, you know this obviously falls within that period where they must be turned in. Uh, the pendants and gold pearls were part of a very showy necklace that had been made by skilled jewelers and worn by society's most powerful, said Rearson. He added that in Norway, a no similar discovery has been made since the 19th century, and it is also very unusual to discover that in a Scandinavian context. That's remarkable. So it really is the gold find of the century in history, and it will probably, probably rewrite or solidify some of the history of the time. Now, an expert on such pendants, Professor Sigmund Rural, with the same museum, said that about 1,000 gold abrectiates have so far been found uh, in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Symbols on the pendants usually show the Norse god Odin healing the sick horse of his son. On the Renaissance ones, the horse's tongue hangs out of the cold pendants. Its slumped posture and twisted legs show that it is injured. We'll take a look again at some of these pictures here. I'm back on the other side here in a moment from the New York Post. The horse symbol represented illness and distress, but at the same time hope for healing and a new life. The plan is to exhibit the find at the Archaeological Museum in Stavanger, about 300 kilometers or about 200 miles northwest of Oslo. The most recent comparable find in Norway dates back to the 19th century. And so before we continue on here, you must be thinking to yourself, well, what kind of compensation would he get, you know? Um, and we'll talk about that here and now. It says that given the location and discovery of what we know from other similar finds, this is probably a matter of either hidden valuables or an offering of, of, to the gods during dramatic times, according to Hakon Rearson. In line with Norwegian law, both Bore and the landowner will receive a reward, although the sum has not been determined. Well, I'm glad they're at least going to be doing that because uh, we saw in a previous case where I talked about, you know, a kid had made a significant fine and only got two books on archaeology. Kind of a slap in the face, but hopefully in this case they will reward them handsomely, especially considering the significance of the fine. I think that's the only way to really motivate folks to turn these objects in, to really make it worth their while. Because I do agree, you know, some of this stuff should be preserved. And these are very much historic uh, finds here. And look in the pristine condition of these pieces. It's pretty remarkable, we can see. And again, we're looking back here. Look at this after it's been cleaned. It looks brand new. It literally looks like it was just produced yesterday. Uh, to give you an idea of scale, there is the the scale bar there below as well you know there'd be one centimeter so it's a fairly small uh, piece here but there again there's the picture of this uh that you can see and um you look you look at that and you can see there they are on the table and there it is being um held by one of the experts at the museum and the jewels which weigh a little more than 100 grams were discovered to date around this 500 a.d and it is the gold find of the century. This is very big news for sure in Norway and really around the world. Uh, finds like this, really, when they study them, they can get a better sense of uh, the times and how the migrations had occurred. And there you see uh, this uh, uh, an image there of the uh, a metal detector used. His doctor said, get more exercise. It's amazing. Now, this is a, an image here that shows what it looks like with these things all together. And you can see here how a chain can link all of these pieces together there. And jewels kind of weighing, and I don't know why they call them jewels. There's no jewels on them, it's all gold, but weighing about 100 grams of gold. It didn't say about the purity as well of these pieces, but here you can see an image of uh, the individual who found them, 51 years old. You know, it's, it's, it's what a blessing. And they get a doctor's order and to immediately 
find uh, treasure. Well, within the same year, anyway, uh, to be see that. So pretty remarkable. Let me know what your thoughts are. Fascinating story. Thanks again to Doctor Who for sharing it with me, and uh, so that I can share it with you, the viewers. If you enjoy content like this, I hope you will consider checking this video out and others in the playlist that I'll link at the end screen of this video uh, called Found Precious Metals Treasure. And with that being said, I want to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this video. And I uh, want to encourage you to please rate. That means press that thumbs up button down below, share this video with others, comment, and subscribe.